Hey, what's happening, everybody? You caught this at a good time because if you can see this chart, we are the bulls and bears are just battling it out right now. And this is really, really interesting because in the time I was taking to draw just a few trend lines or, or these uh, these channel lines here that you that we'll be talking about in this video, um, I was kind of looking to set up this chart in a way where there were two possible outcomes. And when I was kind of digging in a little bit more, this happened. And um, if we go back down even to like the one hour, I mean, look at this candle. <laughs> On a one hour time frame, we're looking at, look at this, let's see, six and a half percent, almost six, six and a quarter. Um, this is some, some serious bull volume. I mean, look at this bull candle here, or this, this bull volume candle here. Um, th this is really interesting. And I think this is coming from a couple things, right? So one thing we have to remember is the ETF that is, you know, going to be approved or disapproved later on in the week. In my opinion, over the past couple of weeks since the previous ETF, the Winklevoss one got, got postponed. Um, the CBOE one got postponed or the Winklevoss one got den denied, I guess. And then the, the CBOE one got postponed. Um, uh, I think that that, that really triggered this downtrend, right? And I think that the, the negative impact of ETFs being denied got baked into the price down at this level at 5,850, whatever it was, 6,000. Um, and, and I think that's, that, that was important. That's normal. I think that's what markets do. And then looking at, you know, your, your scenarios here later on in the week before just exclude this candle here, there's, there's two scenarios, right? It seemed like, since everybody and their mother thought that the the bitcoin etf coming out on on friday or thursday whatever it is is going to get denied pretty much everybody was piling in, in on these shorts on the short action and what appears to be happening right now is a massive short squeeze and that is really interesting to me because it seems a little premeditated a little premature but especially because we still have a few days until this thing gets gets voted on and approved or disapproved right but that that was one of the scenarios was listen if and and this this video is definitely on the fly because now we're going to have to kind of reevaluate what we're thinking about this ETF on Friday right um this this bull action definitely does not mean to me that this ETF is somehow you know getting approved maybe there's some news that I'm missing right now by filming this video oh my god the ETF insiders say that it's getting approved i don't think that's the case i think um it's still more likely than ever that this thing's going to get denied. But I think this was a great uh, short squeeze by some some people with a lot of money. And then now you're kind of seeing the tail end of it where, you know, a lot of the retail investors are saying, oh, my God, it's going to the moon. And the FOMO starts to kick in and you see this extended candle here with with real extended bull volume. Uh, but this is really interesting because I was drawing these exact lines before this happened. And as you can see here, we have this channel right in here is this equilibrium and we have this like, what is this like a triple top here? And that would have, to me, it looked like it was going to be quite a bit of resistance there. And obviously we needed some serious bull volume um, and we needed some serious bulls to come in and, and battle down the bears. And we pierced straight into this equilibrium, which is really interesting because you can look maybe on the day chart, it'll give you a better idea of where we're at, but you can see the consistency here. It, it's, it's very, it's very equal, right? Um, for, for lack of a better term, it's, it's a consistent channel here. And, and this is exactly where we want to be somewhere in this equilibrium. And the fact that we pierced through that and we have formed our higher low, what it took to get into this this equilibrium this channel here was to break these these recent highs and we pierced straight through them and now we've made that higher high and so that is really really important on the daily i mean if you're using elliott wave theory you could count this as a one a two and then up to a three wherever this this ends um th this is really really important and so my <laughs> initially when i was making this video um, I was going to give two alternatives, and, and the one that we talked about most recently was that ending diag that, that pretty much started back in this area where we had the one, the two, the three, the four, and then the five coming down somewhere in this area, which 
don't get me wrong, it's still possible. It's still possible that that we kind of head back down again. But this looks to me more and more bullish. Um, I'm not, you know, hopping on the bandwagon right now at 6,800 right after a huge rally. But it, I'm going to kind of play the wait and see approach because the fact that we we pierced through and we made this higher low um, and, and we have valid counts here is 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 a very and also very nice bullish volume. I guess on the daily it looks a little a little bleak, but on the four hour we're seeing and the, and the one hour we're definitely seeing some some really crazy bullish volume. The, the other scenario was that, you know, from my previous videos was going down to 5200 somewhere in there to kind of finish off this ending diag. And again, still possible, but the, the more we see this, this bullish action and these valid counts on the way back up, the, the better outlook we have. But we also need to keep in mind that, okay, maybe we just had a short squeeze and we also have to keep in mind that there's news coming out uh, th later this week about this ETF. So if you're of the opinion that earlier on in the week, back down and somewhere in this you know equilibrium down here if you thought the price of the etf getting denied was baked into the price at this level then you're probably of the opinion that it's not baked in at this level which means that when the price you know continues to rise in anticipation of this etf or just kind of hammering out these shorts we have to keep in mind that if this etf does get you know, shot down later on in the week, that there's probably going to be a pullback. And, you know, hopefully we can see some nice rally and then they'll, they'll probably be a pullback. And, and what I'm looking for first and foremost is this pullback down to this, this support line, you know, previous resistance becomes future, uh, future support. And I'm really going to be looking for this to hold. So it also coincides kind of nicely with this fib retracement here, um, we can see that it's it's going to be right around the 0.236 line. Um, and we could retrace a bit further down to the 0.382 as well. So I'm definitely going to be um, looking to, to make some entries in there because I think it's pretty much common knowledge that this ETF is going to be going to be shot down. And, and all that means is, you know, maybe we, we're seeing a short squeeze right now. And all that means is, you know, more shorts can kind of pile on in, in anticipation of this thing getting shot down and, and they can, they can pile on at a, at a better price action, right? At a better price. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll kind of have to play the wait and see, but this was really interesting. I'm glad I got to catch this on a video. Um, the, basically what I'm looking for is this to hold this support. And, and if we get any inclination that it will, um, then I think there's kind of a, a no questions asked kind of jump in and, and buy there from, from my personal point of view. And you, you definitely have to wait and see when the time comes. Um, you know, obviously not financial, <laughs> financial advice here. Um, but anyway, so yeah, we'll, we'll kind of keep an eye on the shorts throughout the week and we'll keep an eye on this price action for sure over the next few hours too, to see, kind of see where we end up. The other thing I wanted to, weigh in on is this guy this article so the sec is weighing a bitcoin futures etf um th this is kind of an interesting read uh read right here so physical versus futures so as a result then it doesn't come down or doesn't come as much of a surprise that among the 10 bitcoin related funds that are currently undergoing review by the sec officials in the next two months only one is a physical backed bitcoin etf suggesting most companies are placing their bets on an approval of a futures back trading option as opposed to a physical. So this, this is common. Like if you're not, or if, if you're not like too familiar with the, the physical versus, you know, the, the actual futures ETFs that are coming out, um, I, I definitely recommend giving this a read because it maybe will clear a few things up. Um, it says until such a time, until such time, major institutions put their name to cryptocurrency custo uh, custody. Jeez, I'm fumbling my words right now. Um, I don't believe a physical ETF can exist in the U.S. I think any futures back ETF in the United States now has a far better chance of being approved. So, you know, maybe this this article, maybe, you know, people of like minded opinions of, the, of this 
are are pumping this price it's possible um you know it's it's i don't know if it's likely but it's possible but this is the the quote that kind of reached out to me was if a coin based bitcoin etf comes out it would i would see it getting to probably 5 billion within a year and then ultimately would be a pretty big product probably worth 10 to 15 billion over the next couple of years and would it would put it in the top 10 percent biggest etfs um so this this physical Bitcoin ETF is what most retail traders are hoping for, because this is what would actually drive the Bitcoin price. Um, in, in my personal opinion, you know, a futures based ETF could could also drive the price as well. That's a little more complex, but a physical backed Bitcoin ETF is what most people are rooting for. And this just kind of goes to the point I was talking about earlier is that it's more likely than not that a physical Bitcoin ETF will be kind of rejected. And, and I actually think that, that both or, or all types of Bitcoin ETFs will be, you know, kicked down the road a bit further until we see, I guess, less manipulation, more of what the SEC wants to see. But, until then, you know, th this is good future news because this will happen. Uh, a Bitcoin backed ETF will happen. And whether or not we're sitting at 6,000, 7,000, 5,000, 3,000, Bitcoin, a, a physically backed Bitcoin ETF will drive a ton of traffic to the crypto space. And I think that that will ultimately drive prices um, in the long term. So, I think that's good, good news. Um, we'll, we'll kind of have to wait and see. Like I'm, I'm expecting a retracement due to this, this news coming later in the week, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just rambling now. So with that said, um, I'm going to be doing another video come tomorrow on some PT Defender stuff. Um, I'm working on some app settings with a couple guys in my Discord group and we're looking to sort of use feeder to work on certain coins within defender uh specifically when you know when certain market conditions are triggered and and pt defender starts working on one of your coins um, we're looking to to kind of integrate that into pt feeder and and kind of change buying strategies etc so keep keep an eye out for that video that'll be pretty interesting um and and if you have any questions join our discord we're constantly talking about all sorts of stuff um, and if, if all the links are in the description, so just check that out and, uh, I'll catch you all in the next video. Take it easy guys.